Hello guys, my name is Anurag. Welcome to my channel. And today, today guys, today is the part three of our tablet training. Welcome guys, welcome to all of you. So guys, I hope you guys have understand the uh, last lesson, the last video which I had uh, done for the part two of this tablet training. I hope you guys have understood a bit of it, and uh, um, <clears throat> hope you guys understand the each and every aspect of which I explain it later. And also, uh, I think guys, you guys have uh, even downloaded the tableau tool. And as I suggested you guys earlier, you go ahead and uh, just download it. You can work on those tools. Just see how it works. You can go ahead and download it from the tableau software uh, website. Just see how it works. How, how the everything, the overall look works, and everything also. So today, guys, today we will go into the top uh, part three of the tableau training. And today we will learn uh, how to do dashboard, uh, like how to put dashboard and. Uh, once we create this chart, how to upload those dashboards and different things and, and everything to top it. Okay, so guys, what a dashboard is, as I explained to you guys earlier, dashboard is something like where we create uh, in one place, this is a dashboard. So, how we got here, just I clicked on this last option for this, uh, as, as you guys see, yeah, as I'm hovering my mouse here. So, when I clicked on it, I got it here. This is the dashboard. So, what is the dashboard? Dashboard, as I explained to you guys on my uh, part one of the tablet training. That dashboard is nothing but where we put multiple uh, charts, multiple graphs in the one sheet. So this is a one single page, this is the page, and we will be dropping a sheet here. See this side, drop sheet here. So we will be creating a different sheet, sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3, sheet 4, sheet 5, and so on. And each sheet will have each graph or table. So we will just keep on dropping it here and to make a one single as looking page. So we will work on this right now. So already I have created one sheet 1. Uh, in, in the earlier classes, I, I'll use the same sheet like this. So I'll just duplicate this sheet and <coughs> and work on the next one. See, this is, uh, this is uh, the different sheet now. So this is a bar graph which I had. So I'll just uh, uh, rename it. Rename it to you can even rename the sheet. So I'll just type bar, okay, and sheet two. In sheet two, what we'll do is uh, we'll create a different uh, different one. Like uh, we'll create a like normal uh, this uh, text chart. So uh, uh, this is a text chart, right? See, this is a text table, right? So we'll create a text table on this thing. So this is a normal text table, and just we'll rename it here, saying text. Okay. Okay. So again, go ahead and duplicate it get this sheet to the next one okay come here if you duplicate so once again I think we, uh, we, we lost the sheet due to some reason and uh, I don't know what happened uh, so if you look well, click on this and just click on and uh, rename this sheet to text Okay, here come to bar one, bar graph. Just click on this duplicate sheet. Okay, so we have a sheet three now. For sheet three, uh, we'll do different one. So we'll do, oh, we'll do, we'll do highlight tables, right? See, this is a highlight table. So rename it, rename it to an highlight. Okay. So again, come to uh, bar one. Here is the bar graph. Right click, duplicate sheet. Okay, and for this sheet, uh, I'll take three map. Okay, then three map. And I will rename it to three. So come to bar graph again. Right click, duplicate sheet. Come here and this time we'll do a stack bar. Uh, I don't want this color for stack bar, so go here, edit, edit color, and uh, okay, there are so many things, right? So I'll remove this subcategory and I'll take a different one, like I'll take a region and I want stack, right? So I want a region. I'll use this chart. Okay. So right click, bring into tag. 
Okay, I come to bar again. One, two, three. I think we have done five charts, right? So five is enough, but we'll do a last one for this. Duplicate. And we'll do a one very good one. We'll do a packed bubble, right? It looks good, right? Packed bubble. But again, uh, I don't want the category. I will remove sub category and I will take uh, region to color. Looks amazing, right? So we will take this. We will take this region, right? And right click. I will remove to Okay, so once we have all these three threads, and next click on this. This one. It's called a dashboard. So click on this. So, so as you can see, we have all the sheets here. We just need to drag and drop it here. Okay, just click on style. Like first one, the bar right. Just drag it and drop it. See how it works now. See, we, we have got the bar one. Like if you don't want this one, it shows the sale. Just click on it and click on the X mark. That is the key close. Next is the I want um, packed bubbles, right? Just drag it and just drop it next to it. to pack over and also you can remove this one see now i am able to see two graphs here also i can uh, resize the graph if you want oh i don't want that much and keep it like this okay next is the stack one drag it and drop it here for the stack and we'll remove these things. We can move this one for the stack and keep it here. For the tree, we'll drag it here. Okay. And we'll again remove this as we don't want that. It looks pretty good now, right? So we are left with highlight and text. We'll not put it because there is no space here. So uh, uh, as I suggested, guys, like. It is really good to have at least a four of it, minimum, uh, maximum four. Because uh, if you put too much here, uh, it, it will not look good as you can see here. Uh, yeah, it, it too, also, you can drag it here, that is not a problem. Like, I, I can have it here. I remove it. Also, you can do a floating one where you will manually place and each and every slide of it to make it more uh, good and more beautiful. And then, see, if I click on table, so everything will be clicked on table. That, that, that's good, right? That's, that's really nice, right? So just click on here, so everything will be clicked on here. So it really helps us to really understand this everything and every concept of it, which makes it really good, right? So uh, as you guys can see here, we have just tagged everything, everything to a one one. So we have bar on, on the left hand side, we have packed on the, on the uh, right hand side, we are your style. So if you want numbers to be here, just go to the packed one and click on the label show mark label allow to overlap okay but, uh, i think i don't want uh, subcategory there i'll remove subcategory from the from i just keep so what happened i'll remove sales from there Acha, okay, so go here and just do uh, show mark label, but just click on allow uh, label to other mark. See, and you guys can see it now. Come to again dashboard to see it, it works really good now, right? Now, you, if, you, if you just uh, you, if you just hover over it, you'll be able to understand what kind of bar is this, what kind of graph is this, and everything will be really much more clear. So left hand side, as I mentioned earlier, we have all these things like dashboard or all of stuff. And here you have horizontal, vertical. Like if you want a horizontal space here, and if you want to drag and drop, click on horizontal here. It will create a horizontal space there. It will create a room here so that uh, if you want to be able to drag some kind of sheets here. We even can have images, images like if you want to add some logo to it or some other things to it, you can add it. Even you can add a web page or web link. Like if I just click on it, it will take me to some other link. Some of the Google link. It's really good, right? Uh, it offers so much. So you can put text here, like you want to write something, some heading, subheading, 
any any cash or something like that you can have had it here and here is the dashboard train like you know like this one is the uh, height and width of this chart you can make it here and all sorts of things can be done at the one single dashboard so this is the dashboard you're going to show it to a client this is the dashboard you're going to show it to a customer like someone tells you so uh, someone tells you like i'll give a data and just explain me how does everything work i, I explain me, show me the chart this is the graph you want to show them creating different chart and let them decide what graph they want if they say like i don't know on this back table just show me this graph bar graph and this tree map it looks good just keep these two things and just lead these two things and show them much prettier way and how it can be done in much on level way right so this way uh, you can uh, easily able to understand what what your client is asking for and you can show them keep them everything in a brief in one page so everything can be done uh, everything can be seen here see as, as you guys can see which colors and which colors do match so why is the tire is matched because office machines chairs and chairmen telephone communication and tables all they have pink color so when they pink color so really they were able to understand uh, it really makes it easier for them to read the data for here if i just see this this color and this color is match why is that because well, i have made it like that so that is easier for them to understand the overall picture of it and the overall they can able to grasp that and it looks pretty good right so the overall concept of it so Yeah, so that's it, guys. This is how we we build dashboards. This is how we um, create uh, the, the overall uh, things of it. The way we understand it. So this is really, really really helpful. This is called a dashboard where we put multiple uh, graphs into one. Hope you guys have understand about it. And I suggest you guys go and do it for yourself. Uh, try it. Uh, try it for yourself. Just pull because you have already have the data, right? We already have the source of data on it. Try it yourself. Look at it, how it works. How it works. And let me uh, comment down below if you have any questions. Like um, uh, if, if you are if you stuck somewhere or if you didn't understand, uh, if you are not able to understand about it, just comment down below. Let me know guys. I am able to reply. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for this. Um, hope you guys are able to understand each and every concept of it. And uh, let me know. Let me know, guys. Let me know. Come comment down uh, to know how how it works. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time.